everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post rates. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassar reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. And we have we have a few things we have to look at before we move on. And by the way, this is not a blind playthrough at all. Patient X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. Alright. I am not going to be doing the thing where I read every single thing out loud for the simple reason that we'll be here forever if I do. David's waiting at him. We shouldn't keep him. Let's go. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow zones. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of. Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading in the terms of less area. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. 
Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. It's not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. That was Eddie? your fault. You almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the ogre. Here, watch. Go ahead. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. You still have some work to do. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admitted that. A part of you likes him. I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. That's not ominous at all. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Richard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientists' implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. That doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes. Oh, 0451. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Four. What? Oh. Four. Five. One. Another reason why I'm not reading everything is that the text is so small. Pritchard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microcam labs. I 
think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! Okay, I already, know, I already know how to do the navigation, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Now. Sprinklers are on. Of course, there's a fire. That's the sprinklers. Someone's killing these people. What? Oof. That was hard. Wow, that was unnecessary. That guy wasn't a threat to you. go that was just ruthless that guy wasn't being a threat now gentlemen are dead when the lead starts to fly it's wise to take cover this will protect you from bullets and explosives. To shoot, peek out from behind your cover spot, either to the side or from above. Then take aim and fire. Whenever possible, use cover when moving around. Line of sight is important. And by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't get a bead on you. Okay, so let's take cover. That was not the right thing. All right, so this is cover. This is peeking out, peeking out and aiming. Okay, now aiming takes us out of cover. So, I, get, I gotta get used to that. So, this is peeking out. All right. Yeah, so yeah, the so the first person natural aim button doesn't work. deal with these guys got him okay I don't know that I need anything else from in here Okay, just gotta get used to different button scheme. I'm playing a lot of different games and getting used to the button schemes of different games is an issue. So, jump is... Jump is that, okay. Jump is A, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go here. This guy's going down next. Alright. 
All right, now. I don't need to move him. All right, don't need to loot. Pretty sure I have unlimited ammo at this point. Okay, I don't know who did the shooting, but... Okay. Okay. Go. Oh, oh, damn it. I know you're still here. All right, let's go here. No. Does he know where I'm at? Alright, so there's one there. Got him. Okay. Got it. So we're headed this way, yeah? you 
lost enough people today? I'm sorry. All right. David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Okay. So I'll go meet Pritchard in the tech lab. He's on the second floor. I assume this is the first floor. Jensen, isn't it a bit early to toss him back into the trenches? I hear he's on. Okay. Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. All right, so we found a couple of people's offices. This is Pritchard. Um, wow, well, okay, there's no door prompt. That was odd. What the hell are you building, Frank? Little calculator. I'll take your uh, energy bar. Thank you very much. Yeah, this... It doesn't give me prompts to pick everything up. What's in this uh, data pad? See, the reason why I'm... One of the reasons why I'm not reading these is these things are really small. You know, when you play it on console, those th that is much bigger. I'm playing on PC. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> It's got to be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. 
I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Alright, now I go to the helipad. No, which way is the helipad? It's this way. Alright, we've got a couple of machines. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Alright, here we go. This is Malik. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. You all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I think the in-game graphics look a little bit better than the cutscene graphics. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? Now, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factoring. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Oh, non-lethal. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there. Just neutralize them. OK. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open, high ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? Oh, always up close. The closer the better, I think. That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got it. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing.
Alright. Enter and secure hostages. Okay, gotta loot everything. Take that bar. Okay, menus controller. At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You can move inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon or change grenade type. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books you read on your journey. The map is a helpful tool that allows you to see where you are in relation to your objectives. Useful locations such as merchants and limb clinics are also marked. The augmentation trees are where you can spend experience points to upgrade augmentations you own. Simply select an augmentation and choose which upgrade you want to buy. Upgrading augmentations can be done anywhere, at any time. Alright. Well, we are going to be... I usually play this game as a fairly adept hacker. I also want to see, where's the augmentation tree? Um, I don't know how to open the augmentation tree. I do know that this is the way you do that. So left bumper. Alright. So these are my upgrades. Now, okay, I've read this. Now, we, have, we can read the ebooks this way. All right, so we can read the ebooks because the ebooks are easier to read this way. Um, so, all right, so how do I scroll? Left, that scrolls that. Oh, the triggers. Okay, so I can read the ebooks. DNA analysis of samples taken show unusually high presence of mutagenic chemicals in the primary strand. These don't appear to be harmful, however. In fact, X appears to be healthier and more resilient. Healthier and more resilient to infection than most subjects of a similar age and ethnic background, although admittedly this is based on personal observation only. Access to X's medical files and history is not possible at this time. More interesting to note, however, is what these chemicals do when isolated and introduced to the PDOT cluster. In less than 24 hours, artificial materials within the cluster have been completely encapsulated in a thick semi-permeable coating of the subject's own neural tissue. In effect, the invaders are being digested as part of the subject's nervous system, disguised as part of the subject's nervous system. Tests have yet to be concluded, but it is my belief that the PDOT cluster is built with this unique DNA signature will be undetectable to the human immune system. The bond between what is nervous system and what is external device will be blurred to such an extent that no glial tissue buildup will occur. Neuropozine may no longer be needed. Alright, so I can read these this way. Alright. Good. From the lecture on Hugh Dow given at the Bright Institute, the term neuroplasticity literally means the flexibility of the brain to reorganize itself based on the result of experience. Two decades ago, the consensus among cognitive neuroscientists like yourselves was that lower brain and neurological areas were unable to be changed after development, whereas structures such as memory could be actively altered in areas related to the formation of recall. In a series of cleverly designed experiments, Michael Mer Mer whatever provide proved that somatosensory and auditory sensations, touch and hearing, why didn't you just say that, respectively, can in fact be modified through practice. This process of long-term ridiculous use of unnecessarily long words was further explored in a series of studies in the mid-90s at Southern Illinois University studies which clearly showed how memories could be enhanced by manipulating neuroplasticity. 
Indeed, with the precise timing available to us in today's computers, we can clearly see that enhancement in learning can be applied for areas of the motor cortex, auditory cortex, blah blah blah, cortex, and hippocampus. Manipulation of neuroplasticity makes it clear that we, as a species, have been blessed with a brain that has an unparalleled flexibility to incorporate, in, incorporate neuro prosthetic augmentations all right so i can read things that way i still don't know how to open my scroll wheel i don't know how to open the scroll wheel that's not it oh i can save though let me do that accept Okay, I still don't know how to open the scroll wheel. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to go to Controls, and I'm going to go to Gamepad, Controls, and Take Cover, yes, Sprint, okay, Fire, Interact, Reload, Throw Grenade, Non-Lethal Takedown, Jump, Interact, Up, Cloaking, Down, Smart Vision, Move silently. Right, typhoon. Camera. Uh, move, crouch, take cover. In game menu, pause menu. I don't see how to open the uh, the quick menu. I don't see any way. I don't see how to open the quick menu. I have no idea how to open the quick menu. I hate that. I don't like that. Alright, well, let's open these and see what's in here. Oh, what's this? Painkillers? Alright, that, well, that's a healing item. That's good. Okay, well... Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Okay. Now, I don't know exactly how I would access the building's roof, but... Oh, this doesn't... Oh, this is the way down. Now we're sneaking. Guards. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Backup might be right around the corner. If you have no other choice, try taking out your targets silently by moving up behind them and tapping the takedown button to put them to sleep. Killing them is a more permanent solution but also involves making more noise. To do it, simply hold the takedown button. Whether you kill or stun, all takedowns burn up energy. If your energy bar is empty, you will not be able to use your augmentations. You can, however, replenish your energy cells through the consumption of nutrients. Regardless, don't leave bodies lying out in the open. If they are found, an alarm will be called in. So grab them and drag them out of the way. All right, now, the one thing that must be understood is that if you don't engage an enemy, you don't get the any you don't get the experience points involved. Okay, so uh press So, we're going to, first things first, let's grab him, 
and we're just gonna pull them here around the corner out of the way of the patrol all right and we're gonna search him no nope. okay we're gonna take all items all right now we're gonna take this so I've got a pistol now I also uh, I don't have a weapon so let me uh, can I equip a weapon open menu equip all right all right now stealth tutorial being stealthy hinges on sight and sound crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise possible Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't detect you. Avoid jumping and sprinting, as it will certainly give away your position. Okay. Now, we have... Stun gun darts. I'm looking around, I don't see anything. All right, now we have a few options here. Now that I believe is the way to the roof. But I don't want to leave these guys down here for the simple reasons, as I've said before. You don't get the experience points for enemies that you don't engage. All right, now. This guy's a problem. So what I think I need to do... Get him. And get out of here. I don't have to go too far with him. I just need him here. Okay, let's take everything. Okay, now. I've got that guy to deal with. I need him to move. Now, I think I only have two guys here. Now, see that guy is a problem. What I need is to be able to take out one of these two guys at a time. Where is he stopping at? This guy. Alright. So what I need to do... Now he's coming this way. Alright. It might be easier for me to deal with the other guy. 
Alright. Whoa, whoa. Alright. Might be easier for me to deal with the other guy, but I'm not sure. Now, he's over there now. Now, let's see how far he goes this way. Because if he comes too far this way, I have to go... Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Alright, now when he comes this way, I'm going to come around. Alright, now. Ah. Now, where's the other guy? The other guy's over here. Now, I could have taken him when he was there. Yeah, this, I could have taken him. I could have taken him at that point. I should have. That's the point where they're at their closest. So, I'm going to, when this guy goes up, I'm going to take this guy. All right. So, I'm going to take him, like, right now. Alright. Let's get him. Okay. No. Take him. Alright, let's move. Alright. Alright, I don't think I need to move him further than that. Now, I need to get as close as I can to this guy and take him out. Now, I don't know if I can get him from... Alright, so, I don't know how, how, what distance this thing is accurate from. We'll see if I get a bead from back here. Because if it's accurate from back here... Nah, it's not accurate from back here. So we're going to let him go up. Alright. And I don't think he'll see me when he comes down. Hopefully he won't. Alright. Now, I could get behind him. I could get back. I could go there. He won't see me from there. So I'm going to get out of sight over here. I could also just get right... Well, could take him out the old-fashioned way. Alright, let's go. And we'll take him out the old-fashioned way. Alright, well let's loot him. Take everything. Alright, now, there's a couple of things that need to be looked at. One is... I believe we've explored the whole area out here. Now, I don't think there's anything else out here. However, okay, so that's the way in. That's one way in. But there's also the roof. So we're going to go to the roof first before we go in the old-fashioned way. Alright, so um, I believe it's... Oh, okay. Well, that was it. go. Okay. 
Now, we're coming out this way without going into the fire. Ooh. All right. There we go. Now. Where else do we need to go? Hmm, what's over here? What happened to this poor bastard? Ah, here we go. This is the way in. Done, Jensen. May I ask how? A vent on the roof. It'll be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. I'll be sure to take notes. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly lab that will take you to it. Got it. Okay, well, this is not quite where I want to be, but it's where I am. Now, where does this lead? Looks like it leads to a closet of some kind. Am I... I'm still... I'm standing up. I don't need to be standing up, but... Let's loot. That's like a beverage of some kind. This revolver ammo, okay. Combat rifle ammo. Nothing. Alright, let's keep it slow. Let's keep it low and slow. Now, we can be seen from in here, so I need to do something before... That's what I mean, meant to do. Alright, let's get him out of sight. Now let's loot him. Stun gun darts is always appreciated. Now, I don't think anyone else can see me in here. But we do have... Okay, there's a... So I can't read that there. I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to go and read that in my journal. Alright, so I just read an ebook. Um, we are purity first. Reject the metal. Embrace yourself. Lies are made of steel. The truth is flesh and blood. Are you tired of seeing half-human cyborgs taking jobs and opportunities from good people? Are you sick of cogs who m mutilate and debase themselves? We believe... That understanding human choice is possible without first experiencing the human body's limitations. Physical limitations are what make us human. We should not strive to be anything else. Attempting to improve the human condition through biological modification only diverts attention and resources from social solutions that could do the same without changing the fundamental nature of people. We believe that any deliberate attempt to change the human body is ethically and morally wrong. Purity first cannot be smashed. It cannot be effectively infiltrated. It cannot be stopped. You, each and every one of you, are purity first. I am most definitely not. Now. Okay, Phil, we've got more problems with the line in 9F. The rig is down and we need someone to take a look ASAP. I don't want to be the one to hold up production. It'll be my head on the block if this isn't fixed yesterday, Smitty. This is news to me. It should have been Moody. I'll talk to him later. Sure, we'll send a guy over now with the, with the copper. Should be half an hour max. Okay, and hello all. Management realizes that you have all been working long hours in the drive to fulfill recent military contracts. We recognize your increased efforts and we thank you for your unswerving dedication to getting the job done efficiently and with pride. The current increase in workload will last only two more weeks. On behalf of Seraph Industries, we thank you for your patience and dedication. Okay. Well. Now. We've got a little bit more to do. OK. 
Okay, there's a guy right there. Doesn't look like he moves. Alright. There's a guy right there. Alright, so... Looks like I'm taking that guy out. Well, that didn't do anything. Alright. Let's take him. Salute him. Let's take him and move him to safety. Alright, I'm going to put him in the room. I'm just going to dump everybody in the room for now. Well, I'm not going to... Well, once I clear enough space, I won't really have to. I just got to get him out of sight. So, we looted him already? Yeah, we looted him already. Alright. We're going to get his gun or get his ammo. Alright. Now, there's a guy there. Don't know if that guy is potential or not now. Alright. So there's a guy moving over there. So he's the guy I gotta take out. Alright, this is the guy I need to take out. And so when he comes by, next time I'm putting him down. When he comes back next time, he's going down. And then I'm going to take the guy across the room. I'll circle around and take the guy across the room. Alright. Alright. Alright, now. Alright, so I don't need to go too far with them. I just, I can put them right there. Search him. He doesn't have anything. Take his gun. Now, reality is I need to take that guy next. So I'm going to go all the way back here. Back behind him. Can't you hit me, Say bye -bye. Keep running, I see you All right, I gotta get hidden. I can't believe I got spotted. That what happened to Damn it. Damn it, they're waking up guys that I put down. They're waking up guys that I put down, that's bad. Alright, that means... Jesus. What happened to 
Yeah, they're waking up a bunch of guys that I put down. That means that I have to... I have to redo a lot of what I did. Yeah, they will... They woke up a whole bunch of the guys that I put down. That means I have to redo most of what I just did. Oh, they came in here. They woke up everybody that I put down. Damn it. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to redo most of this mission. But... That is going to wind up being a story for another day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next episode where I try to climb out of this hole I just dug for myself.